It's no secret that Australians love to travel. Between 2018 and 2019, more than 10 million of us took an overseas trip, spending a total of $65 billion abroad. As holidaymakers now seek to start planning a getaway in their own backyard, with almost one in three Aussies intending to stay local and support our tourism industry, you don't need a passport to experience the best bits of Japan. Generally speaking, two weeks is the amount of time we spend in Japan. So the best way to start planning your itinerary is with a visit to the Japanese bathhouse in South Bowenfields in New South Wales. After driving through the beautiful Blue Mountains from Sydney, you'll find this authentic site which has a spectacular onsen with views right across the valley. The natural mineral spring pools flow from a depth of around 300 metres. Typically taking place in the first half of the year, visiting Japan during cherry blossom season is one of the most popular times for visitors in cities like Okinawa and Hokkaido. But down under, while blossoms may be of a different species, they are just as impressive and insta-friendly. Jumping across from New South Wales to Western Australia, wildflowers bloom on the coral coast all year round. But between late July and September, you'll see some of the most stunning displays in the state when blankets of brilliant wildflowers colour the outback. Hot tip is to visit the towns of Pindar and Malawa, which are renowned for showing off the reef flower that blooms between August and October. It's super rare. It's no secret that jacaranda season in Australia knows how to draw a crowd. From late October to November, jacarandas are in full swing in Sydney and other cities across the country as well creating a purple rain as the petals fall down over the month-long period. You can catch these trees in full bloom in Sydney's Royal Botanic Gardens, plus the incredible Purple Tunnel, just over the Harbour Bridge in Kirribilli. Keeping on the purple theme, if you're a lover of flowers and the sweet scent of lavender, there's no better place to visit than the rolling hills in Bridestow Estate in Tasmania. As the world's largest privately owned lavender farm, the lavender rows stretch for about 200 kilometres in total with guests able to freely roam among the purple flowers. With the 260 acres of rolling hills sitting just 45 minutes from Launceston, it's the ultimate road trip spot to get your next display picture. But let's not forget food. I mean, Japan is the birthplace of sushi after all. It's a big favorite for Oprah Winfrey, so Sokyo in Sydney should be the first stop. They have an adventurous menu, including sushi and sashimi, and so many sake options, you'll be hard pressed to make a dent in their list. If you're heading to South Australia, Adelaide has locals favourite shobosho, who blends smoke, steam and fire, which are ancient traditions of Japanese yakitori, with textures that are raw, cured and fermented. The whole menu takes diners on a journey from raw to cooked, and it's a perfect way to end your Japanese jaunt down under. <laughs>